Hey, Mortgage Coach community, what's up? Dave Savage here, and I am interviewing Shannon O'Hare for the second time. What's up, Shannon? How's it going, Dave? Good to be here. Good to have you. Well, it's, it's great to have you as an emerging leader and rock star in Mortgage Coach land, so thanks for uh, making time to share, and then that, that video on a chairlift was pretty awesome. Well, thank you. It was fun to, fun to film, and it was a good day for it. It was beautiful out. Yeah, so... So, by the way, folks, I'm going to show a picture of it in a minute because it's in our Facebook group right now, and it's trending, you know. I think we get a lot of interaction on that. Also, I'll show that in a minute. I'm going to put a link down below. Uh, is it better to put a link driving them to your Facebook page or to your Instagram page, or do you care? You know, the, the Instagram page is preferred on my side, but the uh, Facebook works as well. So, either way. Well, no, let's, let's do things on Instagram. I'm going to put a link to the video. So if you're like, Dave, what are you talking about? It's down below. If you're watching this within the first week of the, when we recorded this, it'll be at the top of our Mortgage Coach Productivity Mastermind. So, so Shannon, one of the things I'm trying to do, like last time I interviewed you, it was a mortgage strategy. So it's all about, you know, how to use the total cost analysis to deliver strategies to families and agents. And we're going to get to that in a minute. But why don't, we, why don't we talk first about your video? Like, why did you do this, you know, video? What was the why behind it? Yep. So, you know, listening to the mortgage coach calls and then in alignment with sales mastery, there's so much emphasis on personal branding and, and being relatable and being a trusted advisor. And I think people want to know who you are. Um, they want to know more about you. Um, they want to have the who they're going to be relatable so your, your rate and your fee definitely matters but who is this person that's actually helping you with this huge decision and so i've been really a lot more intentional about my social media presence and just putting myself out there as far as who who am i and and what do i want people to know about me and so this video just seemed like a, a really good way to show hey i i can be responsive on the weekend um, I, I want to be available for people as they're out shopping for home loans, but I also don't need to be in my office for four hours sending spreadsheets back and forth. And so I wanted to show, hey, I'm, I'm active. I, I love to be outside, um, but I also, I also love to work. And so that's really what inspired it. And then, you know, we, a lot of times we are skiing on Sundays and I'm not at an open house, but I want to be available to my clients if they, if they need to help make a decision. So that's really what, what drove this video. I love that. And for folks that haven't heard you before, they don't know where you're at, what market are you in, what kind of production are you doing? A little bit about you for the loan officers watching yeah. this. Yeah, so I'm in Bozeman, Montana. It's Southwestern Montana. It's near Big Sky Ski Resort, which is some of the biggest skiing in America. We're close to Yellowstone Park. Um, it's a really, energetic outdoors driven community um, we're growing and so it's a really fun market to be a part of um, i've been in the industry since 2002 um, and i i close around 150 units a month uh, you know i'm doing a lot of different things wait wait 150 or, units excuse a me month gosh well, wow. that be great? 150 <laughs> units. Swap that. i know what you meant yep yeah i don't think i'd be skiing without a bigger team if i was doing 150 a month so yeah no, no, all good. And by the way, that's, that's incredible. I mean, that's awesome in all standards, but in the market like that, I mean, that's congratulations. Thanks. Super yep. successful. So, so I want to just show the video real quick, guys. So yep. if you're watching it, I am pulling it up in the Mortgage Coach Facebook group. So, you know, here's the video. If, by the way, if you're watching this in the group and you just click on it, that will take you to Shannon's, uh, page so we're now on her instagram page real real quick because a lot of people came in and they they wanted to know they wanted to know what tech you were using like how did you do that just tactically for anyone that's interested yeah so i this my husband took this with his iphone and then i did invest in my business and i have someone helping me with uh, the logo and the, I actually have a buddy who did, um, not on this one, but on my other Instagram videos, he did the background music for me. And so I, I outsourced it. This is just an iPhone video though. So you shot it, you shot it with an iPhone. And by the way, I like, I like this one too, because you, you talked a little bit about the seller buy down. Yep. So, so, so those, we, 
those particular videos were shot on an actual a actual camera with a little bit more equipment. Um, but I, I wanted to be able to do videos on the fly and not have them all be perfect and precise. I, w I wanted to have just a, a impromptu video of being active. Got it. So that was iPhone and then someone else did the editing. By the way, if you have more questions for Shannon on this, post below. Um, you know, whether you're watching this on Facebook or, or um, YouTube and Shannon will answer it or others. I mean, we've got a lot of loan officers in this community that are creating a lot of videos. So any questions you have, it's been talked about. Anything else you want to make sure people know? Well, here's one more on the prep for the script. Like how much headspace did you put into what you were going to do and what you were going to say? So it's just kind of like you, went, you had an idea and then you pulled it off. What kind of time and headspace did that take? Not a lot, just because I work better, I think, on, on the fly when I've tried to script something. I think scripts are ex exceptionally important and to really make them your own and have them feel comfortable. But I, I find I work better off of, I come up with a concept, I think of a few bullet points I want to cover, and then I just go for it. And, and that's worked well for me. And everyone, everyone's wired a little differently with that. Um, but that one, I, I really just had a few bullet points I wanted to hit and, and just went for it. Well, I, by the way, that's the same way I do it. I mean, I, I write up like, you know, what are some key concepts? What are some goals? I'm always intentional on the call to action. And then I go, um, you know, I was talking to Craig Sewing um, this week because I'm going to be speaking at his mastermind coming up. And he used a term that I had never heard before, but I was just, I loved it. And everybody in our community, you'll probably hear me just like say these words countless times. I'll like I'll be annoying a month from now. But he, he said radical authenticity. He's like, Dave, I'm all about radical authenticity. And I'm like, I like that. And, and by the way, I know you like that too. And, and, and by the way, that was the takeaway. So my only issue with scripts, like when you script things out, it's hard to like have something script and then show up with radical authenticity. It comes across like you're trying to say everything right. I mean, you know what I mean? I do. And I find I stumble over my words profoundly when I'm trying to think of a script and really follow it word for word. Um, and, and I think people like mistakes. Like I really am not closing 150 loans a month. That's, <laughs> you know, like we say things that we make mistakes for human. And I know that there's been videos of bloopers of, of bliss posted one and I loved it. And it's like, that's authenticity. That's radical authenticity. We are putting our best foot forward, but we're human. And so that's where I, yeah, just go for it. Just, just go for it. By the way, guys would love to see more videos like this. If you're a mortgage coach member and you're using the total cost analysis to deliver value to families and value to agents, I would love to see videos where you are doing whatever you love to do fishing, hiking, golfing, you know, Dan Keller, when he saw your video, he's like, Dave, next time I go up fishing, I'm doing one of those. Yeah. Uh, you know, whatever, whatever it is that you do in life, and, it's, it, and you want to, like, brag about Mortgage Coach and talk about how Mortgage Coach is valuable to them, would love to see more videos like this. So Mortgage Coach community, get after it. Make sure you tag me or make sure I know about it. Uh, if, if, by the way, Shannon, if you wouldn't have told me like, Dave, check out my Instagram, it could have, it could have gone, I mean, I would have seen it eventually, but yep. it could have taken some time. So, so community, let's get after it. Maybe we'll do some type of contest if we get a lot of you guys doing it and sharing it. it before we transition and get into a mortgage strategy, anything else on this video, just, you know, knowing that you listen to these, you know, you listen to the YouTube channel, anything else you think might be valuable on this topic? Uh, I think the biggest thing with, as I'm promoting my social media, the, the real, the big focus is be a trusted advisor, be relatable, have that really reflect who you are and educate. And, and if I stay true to those, those three things, I think it's going to just be another bucket, which will drive business. Love, love that. So let's, let's share my screen again. Uh, I want to, while I'm talking to you, I want to make sure everybody knows about the first interview we did three weeks ago. It's already been viewed almost 500 times, Shannon. So you, you are the full rock star. I want to remind folks, every time I do one of these mortgage strategy interviews, 
I put links to the total cost analysis below. So in this particular call, we did a few TCAs. The links are down below. Check that out. And then Shannon, I wanted to, to do another one. Every time I do an interview like this, like let's, let's do another mortgage strategy. So what did you, what's the story behind this one? And then walk us through the strategy. Yep, so this is the one I was referring to from the chairlift. I had a client out looking at property and they definitely had a max payment amount that they couldn't exceed. And so as they were out looking at those properties, I wanted to make sure that within the price points they were searching that depending on the individual taxes, estimated insurance and specific homeowners association dues that even though the price point seemed to fit that there wasn't an outlier that would, that would cause them to not qualify. And so that's really what drove this one. And um, we're working with them, you know, yesterday and today, and they're going to narrow down that search. And so I, I will use the software to remove the three properties they don't choose and get the actual one dialed in. So it, it's less, less information that they're trying to digest and they can really focus in and make sure that, that they're ready. Um, but this did allow me to, you know, say, Hey, may, maybe don't consider that one or yeah, these other three are good to go. And so being able to have just those few clicks on my phone versus like I said before, coming into the office and pulling up all the information and updating spreadsheets and everything, it, it does make it easy and allow you to go about enjoying your day. So, so this is purchase options. Looks like a client that, you know, has FHA options and then this condo, you know, what, what are the strategies here? What's like, what are the client's goals that you were delivering this mortgage coach total cost analysis around? Yeah. So um, it, in this area, we have fewer condo projects that are ongoing FHA approved. And so we have to advise people properly out of the gate that even though condos are a great option to get into, that if FHA is really the, the best financing option for them, we need to make sure that, hey, is that condo FHA approved? If not, we're going to need to look at some different parameters for down payment rate, closing costs, all of those things. And so, but outside of that, making sure those other properties did qualify for FHA for them and, and allow them to see what those, those hard numbers were at the end of the day. Got it. So purchase options. And by the way, it sounds like you've got this down. You, you created this on your desktop and then you can edit it on your mobile phone. By the way, how often are you doing that? Where it's like, hey, I created it on my desktop and now I'm editing it on my mobile phone because I'm out doing life. Like, is that a daily, weekly, monthly thing? That I would say weekly for sure. Um, I, I can foresee as, as my team grows and I shift to more out in the field, I think I'll be doing it more on a daily basis. Okay, cool. Well, guys, everybody on this call, if you're new to Mortgage Coach, just want to remind you all that there's a menu up here. It can translate in Spanish. It can be printed. It can be shared. I mean, this is one of the beauties where it can be emailed to the fam, you know, to the realtor, to the father-in-law that's loaning him a down payment. Everybody is in the loop. Um, any other just ideas or takeaways from this mortgage strategy that you think would be uh, something to share with the community? I think the biggest thing is you don't want to waste anyone's time, whether it is the buyer, the buyer's agent, the realtor that is representing the property that they're interested in. And, and most importantly, that seller. And so what this makes sure of is that we're advising properly out of the gate and that we're not wasting people's time. Right. And by, by the way, when you don't waste people's time, you're saving your time. And, you know, Shannon's doing 150 loans a year. She doesn't have a lot of time and she wants to do a lot of big lifestyle things. So and that that is probably the best, biggest numbers. People think mortgage coach takes more time or some buyers don't want it. You know, they, you know, not everybody wants a total cost analysis. Any, any like how long does it take you to put one of these together and any advice you have? For the, for the loan officers out there that are like, oh no, everybody doesn't want this thing. Well, I think it is, it's a quick process and you wanna make sure your numbers are accurate, but it's, it's fast. And I would say, you know, as you get better and better at it, it's, it's maybe three to five minutes. Uh, but I think the biggest thing I've 
been made well aware of is that you cannot prejudge the demographic that will benefit from this. And so do it with every client and let them decide if they're going to utilize it or not. But I've been blown away with who actually comes back and is, is very appreciative of it and digs into it. And then the people that I think will use it the most are the ones that are like, I don't really understand this. And so it, it, but it gives you an opportunity to jump in there with them. And then once you walk through it, they're blown away. And so don't, don't prejudge who, who can benefit. Right. Well, and, and to your point, you do it for everybody. So you know how to, how to position it. So I always like to get scripts. So if you could give a script, let's say purchase options, home buyer, what do you say to them before you send this total cost analysis? So what I will say is if I haven't already met with them in person and gone through it with them face to face, I'll just say, Hey, I'm going to be sending you a display of all of your options. I'd like to schedule a time to go through this over the phone. It's a lot of information, but once we, once we walk through it together, it'll all make sense. And it's, it's a super interactive tool that's going to benefit both of us. Love it. So I want to show one more training tool. The mortgage coach training and marketing team just came out with a new resource for you guys. It's called mortgage coach strategies. So under member services, you have mortgage coach strategies. And, and what we're doing here is we're picking the, some of the best interviews that I do. So it's not every single interview. And then, and then we're packaging it online. So, you know, rent versus own versus wait. And you could click into that and, and get a combination of the interview that I did. The TCA that I did will be, will be expanding this teacher so that you have an educational opportunity. So if you're a branch manager on this call, or you're a regional leader and you want your loan officers to be better advisors, think of this as just an obstacle course. Like, you know, a great jumbo down payment option, a seller buy down with concessions. I got a lot of Spanish speaking families in my market, first time home buyers. So we're just creating these mortgage strategies where there's a great loan officer. So there's a story, all top to producers. There's a great family story. And then there's a total cost analysis that's helping that family make a decision. So this just hit the market. Um, I don't even think my marketing team has marketed it yet. Uh, so check that out. Make sure that you're tuning into our YouTube channel. Make sure you're tuning in and participating in the Mortgage Coach Facebook group. Shannon, any last words of wisdom before we wrap up this interview? No, I think that will, what you just showed will be a great tool. And especially for me, I'm trying to help get my team up to speed on helping me create the TCAs. And then as I'm doing my annual reviews, um, helping them dive in and make sure that they're staying up to speed on those. And so I think that marketing tool is going to be really, really beneficial. Thank you. Cool. For doing that. Yeah. Well, hey, I think the, it was, I, I think it was either the training team or the marketing team here. It was their idea. So great job team. Uh, I am looking forward to seeing more lifestyle videos like the one Shannon did. So again, please tag me, please share it in our group. Shannon, you're, you're a rock star in this community. Thank I, you. I think I have you on a Friday call. Is it next Friday or the following Friday with Bliss Sawyer? I believe so, yes. So, so guys, Bliss Sawyer, who's a leader in our community, created a great value prop video where she was just telling – you know, I think it was four minutes long, but I, I think I usually see them somewhere between two to five minutes. And, and so not this Friday, but next Friday, Bliss Sawyer, and we, we invited Shannon to join us and a few other top loan officers. So come check that out. And then I also invited Shannon to be part of Strip Palooza. So that'll be, I think it's the last Tuesday in February. So come check it out. And if you got value from this, give it a like, share it with your mortgage friends. Shannon, have an awesome day and keep bringing the value here. Thanks, Dave, and happy birthday to your daughter. Oh, yeah, thanks. I appreciate that. Talk to you later. Happy, happy birthday, Sid. See ya. <laughs>